Okay, let's compare this question to the following question. I have some money. Do you know how much I have? No. Yeah, you don't know. Okay. I used 20% of it. I have $8 left. How much did I have at first? So what's the difference? What's the difference between these two questions? One question is asking. One question is asking yeah. money at the end, right? Yeah. Then this question is money at. Yes. So they are opposite to. They are opposite to each other. So how do you do the opposite? Type of question. How? Okay. So let's let me go to a new slide. Okay. Let me go to a new slide. Okay. Here. Do you know how much you have at first? You don't know. But you know that you use 20% of it. Right? How much is left? Eight dollar left, right? Yeah. So eight dollar left. But can I ask you? Eight dollar left. So if I ask you what's the percentage left? So what's the percentage left? The question gives you the value left. So what's the percentage left? No, ask you what's the percentage left. I don't know how do you do it. How do you do it? You tell me how do you do it? What's your first step? What's your first step? Which one times which one? Twenty percent. You say twenty percent? Times eight. So that means you are telling me this eight is eight dollars. Am I right or wrong? This eight refers to what? The start. The start, which is here, right? Am I right? Yeah. So is eight eight dollars in this case? No. Then how how can then how can you then then how can you use how can you use twenty percent times eight in this case? How can you? How can you? Unless unless you know that you started with eight, right? Am I right? Yes. But did you start with eight? No. If you did not start with eight, that means you cannot times eight. Right? Am I right? Yes. So that means you cannot times eight. Unless you know that is the it is it, but the it is not it. Okay, okay. Can I ask you? You use twenty percent of it. If you use twenty percent of it, then can I ask you what's the percentage left? You start with how many percent? You always start with how many percent? Hundred. So you always start with hundred percent. If you use eighty percent of it, right? So many percent is left.
you start with 100%, you use 20%, so how, how many percent is left? No, you answer my question. You don't go and answer your own question. You start with 100%, 20% is used, how many percent is left? Uh, okay, I ask you, you have 100% at the start. You use 20%. How, how many percent you are left? What operation you use? Hmm? You answer me what operation you use first. Minus. What minus what? 100%. Hmm. Minus 20%. That's all. Why you keep pressing your calculator? You just still answer me. Start with five dollars, use two dollars, how much is left? Three. How do you get three? Yes, start with hundred percent, use twenty percent, how many percent is left? So how many percent is left? Eighty. Very good. So that means eighty percent is left. And then this 80% is happened to be, this 80% is a portion, right? Right? And then this 80% happened to be, how much? It says what? How much? So this 80% happened to be? $8. So what this question is all about is, Eighty percent is eight dollars. Okay. Then hundred percent is how much? Because you want to find first, right? So in order to find hundred percent, what you need to find first? Let me give you an example. A T U is eight. 100 U is how much? How do you find 100 U? Before you find 100 U, how do you find 100 U? Find 1 U first, right? How do you find 1 U? Which one divide by which one? 8 divided by 80 divided by 8 or 8 divided by 80? How do you decide? How do you decide? What example I give you last time? The mask. Bio, right? Start with the mask, come. Give me the mask example. Ten mask, Ten life, five. Mm. Five. Ten. Mm, how much is one mask? So how much is one mask? Five. How do you get five? Ten. You want to slap yourself? Ten masks is only two dollars. You one mask already charge five dollars. Ten masks only two dollars. And you can tell me one mask is five dollars. That means one mask are already more expensive than 10 masks. Do you need to slap yourself? So which one? Do you want, do you want which one? Last time I give you 10 masks not equal to $2. You can check. Where's the evidence? Where's the evidence? Did you write it somewhere? Did you write it somewhere? Your mask? Quick. 
I remember I never give you 10 masks, you go to $2. Okay, let's Shermaine, you sit down. It's okay. So you sit down first, you sit down first. If you find the height of a person is 200 meters, does it make sense or not? If it doesn't make sense, what you need to do? Change. Change. So here, just now what you do. What you do. Just now what you do. 你剛才是怎麼divide? Come on, quick. And then you get what? Does it make sense? Then if it doesn't make sense, what you need to do? Change, change what? Before you change the answer, you need to change what first? What question? It's either 10 divided by 2 or 2 divided by 10. Does it make sense? That's the only way. If 10 divided by 2 doesn't make sense, right? Then what you need to do? Change to what? Exactly. Okay. Ten masks only cost you two dollars. You tell me one mask only five dollars. Does it make sense or not? If it doesn't make sense, then what you do? Change to what? Then when when do you tell me when you will remember is two divided by ten instead of ten divided by two? You keep doing you keep making this mistake. Next time I will record now how many mistakes you keep making and then I will ask your mom to go back and twist your ears how many times. You keep making the same mistake ten times, your mom is going to twist your ears for ten times. Okay, we are not even talking about how to do question. We are talking about very basic stuff. Two more. It depends on the question, whether it's a plus or minus. Okay. Left. It depends on the question, whether times or minus. I'm not even talking about concept. I'm talking about even simple stuff. Conversion. One unit. These are basic stuff. How can it be 10 masks is not $2, one mask already $5? Crazy stuff. Do you know how crazy you are? You tell me one mask is $5. If 10 masks is only $2. You realize how crazy you are? You know what I'm You know what I'm If you realize your answer is crazy because you take 10 divided by 2, all you need to do is you switch. Because if left to right is wrong, then just right to left. That's the only way. There was no other ways. You understand the point? So, one more thing. Operation first, then tell me the answer. Divide one divided by two, is it? Answer is? So similarly, one U here is first operation. What's the operation? Eight divided by eight. Why eight divided by eighty? Why not eighty divided by eight? Stop. Put your hands on the table. No, I ask you why it divided by 80 first. I'm not asking you for answer first. Why not 80 divided by 8?
mask. Okay, it's like the mask, right? What you did to the mask? So similarly? Exactly. So 8 divided by 80 is 1 over 8. Uh, yeah, 1 over 10. So 1 over 10 is equal to 0 0.1. 1 U is 0 0.1, right? 100 U is how much? So here 1 mass, here 1 mass is 0.2, right? 100 mass is how much? How do you get 100 mass is how much? 0.2. Right. So similarly, hundred U is ten. So hundred percent is ten. So at the start is. So this question the answer is. The E equals to. So, do you see the difference between these two question? Can you see the difference between these two? Can you see the Okay. So, here, the, okay, the first type of question, right, this question, right, and I ask for at the end, right? We already know what to do. Okay? But the second type, right? What we need is we need to find out. We need to find out what is the percentage at the end first. Okay? And this this percentage is happened to be eight dollars. So when we have eighty percent equals eight dollars, which example you give yourself? The mass. How do I know whether it's 80 divided by 8 or 80 divided by 80? The mass, right? But you also make mistake for the mass, then. Eh? 10 mass is $2. One mass is $5. Does it make sense? Yeah. Then if it doesn't make sense, what you do? Change. Change what? Change. Exactly. Okay? So, with this understanding, I'm going to let you do this question. We are, not talk we are not talking about very, very hard questions, okay? We are talking about very simple questions. Like, say, T, please. So, uh, it says, Tim, Have some curry puff. So once again, any curry, how many you don't know? And then he gave away three fifth of them. And then sixteen curry puffs are left. So how many at first? How many at first? Okay, use your piece of paper to this question. Okay, so in life. Right here. Okay, just now the question here is in, in terms of percentage. Here's in terms of okay, good. So that means just now if I have 20 percent, I need to find out what is the percentage at the end, right? So in this case, you need to find out what is the fraction at the end. Okay, you always start with 100 percent, right? 100 percent is for percentage. So for fraction, you always start with. Always be what? So percentage, I always start with 100%. Then if for fraction, I always start with what? 
one hole. Okay, or it gives you the idea how to do. Let's click, do it back. One hole means one lah, going to one tap lah. By the way, the question is also on the paper. You don't need to read my bad handwriting if you don't want. What's the fraction that is left? Hmm? What's the fraction that is left? So you what? Tell me what you need. That's not what we did for percentage. For percentage, what we did, like? We need to find out. We need to find out the percentage that is left first, right? Yeah. So for this question, we need to find out what first. The percentage then, then what you have done? You just divide, right? Who teach you to do that? Who teach you to divide? What was the fraction that is left? You start with one. What is it? What is this bunch? What is this? Juice, right? Okay, for rain. Right? Or it's done, right? Why do you write so many words? You need to write so many words. Uh, do, do you see? Wait, 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 come. Do you see I write a lot of words? Mm -hmm. Then you write so many words for what? Happen to be so sixteen is yeah. two six. Yeah. Yeah. sixteen is equal to two six. Yep, so you know, one means what. How do you decide? 
you better use the map mask first before you answer me the question. By the way, here is sixteen dollars. I will put the sign here. So you use what? You use the. Two divided by ten, right? That means you you use the dollar divided by. The. Yes. Three dollar divided by one. So similar, you use. Two divided by. Okay. Use the dollar divided by the. So what five right? Very good. That's how you decide whether you take sixteen divided by two fifth or two fifth divided by sixteen. Okay. So sixteen divided by two fifth, what do you get? That's it. Okay. Yeah. So this question is very simple. This question is dealing with fraction intake. Okay. So if you are dealing with fraction, you always start with one. And then if three fifth is gave away, two fifth is left. Right, and then this left happen to be sixteen. This is not dollars, by the way. This is sixteen current pound. Okay. Okay. So similarly, so two fifth u is equal to sixteen pound. So one u equals to sixteen divided by two fifth, which is fourteen. Okay. I want to find one U, right? Here's what? One. Yeah. So I need to find one U, right? So one U is 40. They ask how many at first. So the answer is 40 at first. So this question and the percentage question, they are actually the similar. But over here, if they use 20%, I need to start with, over here, if they start with 20%, I need to start with 100% to find the 80% left. Okay? Then if they use fraction, if they use fraction here, okay, then I need to start with one and then you find out the fraction that is left okay once you have the fraction that is left then you use this the unit method of course whether you take 16 divided by the 2 fifth or it's a 16 divided by 2 fifth or 2 fifth divided by 16 it depends on the mask. So if 10 masks, actually what I give is $20. We have a so cheap one. The mask 20 cent. Now you go out 20 cent have or not? You see, the example you give also doesn't make sense. You know how much is the mask right now or not? 20 cent? 20 cent can buy or not? What can you buy with 20 cent in Singapore? You don't even the ice water there. How much is your ice water? Coffee there. But 20 cents can buy, buy you what? Nothing. How much is one can of drink? At least. Coffee there. Uh, one dollar. Do you think the mask is one mask is more expensive than green tea or less? Ten? Does it make sense to be two dollar ten mask? Then why you give me ten mask is only twenty uh, two dollars? Okay, so if ten mask is twenty, one mask is how much? Which one do you have? Which one? Forty divided by ten. So it's two. One mask is two dollars. So similarly, you take twenty divided by ten, right? That means the right hand side divided by this one. That's why you take 16 divided by your 2 fifth. And then your all this 1u is equal to 40. So in fact, you want to find 1u, right? So that's why it's 40. Okay. 
can. Okay, good. So today, let's go recap what we have learned. Uh, of course, we have learned uh, this the long division method, right? Right? Okay. And then with the long division, of course, if you have 100 and you have 40 here, what you do is you put a 2 here, you get 80, and then you're left with 20, right? And so the 100 is called what? Dividend, okay? So from today onward, you are going, you need to, you need to know this, dividend. And then the 40 is called a divisor. And then the 2 is called a quotient. Quotient. And then the 20 here is called a remainder. And then if you are asked to write in an equation form, 100 divided by 40 is equal to 2 remainder. Okay? okay? So this is the concept we have learned, like long division we have learned. And then we learned about finding x first. The technique to find x first. Okay? And then of course, Technique to find x first in terms of fraction, right? Yeah. Then this is the technique to find x first in terms of very good. And we always learn about how to find dollar at the end. That is the previous lesson, right? Today we learn about dollar at the yes, in terms of in terms of. Very good. Okay. So, this is long division. Now. Remember? Long division and then you get the remainder. Right? Ah, so today I test you the conversion. Quite good. Okay. No mistakes. Okay. Ah, so one more. This is the concept. So if you are asked to find three quarters of them are blue, so you need to find out how many are here first. So total is 12, right? Right? So total is 12. Then your this three quarter, you need to change it to in terms of 12 first. Then you will know that, oh, three quarter is actually nine over 12. So you need nine of them to be blue. Then you just, you just fill up the how many more? Okay. 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 So let me give you a summary of what have what we have learned here. Okay. How many cells are here? Three times three, right? So three times three is nine cells, right? Right? Yeah. So let's say if I ask you, I want two third of them to be white. So what you do first? What you do first? Yeah. So. Change your two third to something over nine, right? Yeah. So what is something over nine? Six. six, right? So that means you need six of them to be white. white. So what you do? You color them white. So if two thirds of them are already white, then what is the fraction that is blue? So how many of them are blue? What's the fraction of them are blue in this case? Two thirds of them are white. So what's the fraction of them are blue? Count them. Three hours. 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 Three
three out of nine of them are blue. But this is, is it simplest form? So if it's not, then what you do? Change. How do you change? Yes, divide by three, both, above and below. So the answer is one third. Okay? So one third of them are blue, two thirds of them are white. Okay? Okay? Easy? Yeah, okay. Brown, 99.45 to a whole number. So, where you stop? Yeah, you stop at the decimal point here, right? Right? Yeah. And then you ask yourself whether you're this, you're this, whether you add one or you, whether you add one, you add zero to the front. So in this case, the four. So you add zero to in front. So when you add zero to front, you get 99. Okay. Well, the, the, the concept of whole number is, is 1, 32, 33, these are whole numbers. Okay. It should not have decimal point. Okay. Okay, that's the concept of whole number. Okay. Okay, yep, we have learned how to round to significant figures, how to round to decimal uh decimal point. Okay. Yeah, so this question is uh from here. Okay. This question is what we always do already. Okay. Uh, how many left? Right? Okay, so very simple. Okay, yeah. So uh, I will continue to send you, I will continue to send you uh, quizzes, online quizzes. So you have to submit to me. Okay, I will, uh, so I will send you two quizzes. Okay, uh, finish the first one before Wednesday and then finish the second one before Friday. Okay, and then one week you get to do uh, two pieces. Of course, I see some of the exercise you have. They are very good. Okay, they are very good exercise. Okay, so you go home. You, if those you cannot finish, you can come and ask. Just like just now, you asked me uh, two questions, and you asked me whether they are similar, right? Actually, yes, very similar to our question. Huh? Yeah. So very, very similar to uh, what we learned in class. Okay, but the problem with this is if you make a mistake, you have no video to watch. But this one, you have, let's say you make a mistake, at least you know, oh, you make a mistake, then you can get to watch a video of how do you do this question. Okay, so I'm going to make, make all these questions in online, not on paper. Okay, so you don't, if you do it on paper, you need to ask, you need to go and see your teacher, then you can ask. But when you do it online, you immediately know or whether you get it correct or wrong. When you get wrong, you can watch the video. But this one, you must wait until next week, then you see your teacher. Okay? You don't have to ask the teacher, but you do it online, you can see it online. Right? So that's the benefit of doing it online. Okay? Okay? Standard math, good. Uh. It's okay. Standard math. That means if you can do, if you can do standard math, fundamental math, a piece of cake, 就简单. 